Welcome back to Schoolcast Sense. It's Tim and Jacko, and today we are looking at muscle ups and specifically five things that might be holding back your muscle up progression. In the bar muscle up, our job is to go from below the bar to above the bar. Now, there's a few problems which you might encounter on the way which could be stopping you from achieving that. But let's just set this up and remind you that it's not about how many pull-ups you can do. If you can do 20 pull-ups, it's a very different movement to actually be able to achieve the muscle up because we've got to look at, from a below the bar perspective, the line of pull and the setup position. We've got to look at how high above the bar you can get and how quickly you can get there. And in terms of getting above the bar, once you've done that first aspect, We've got to look at the range of motion that you can generate at the shoulder in terms of getting into extension and, and internal rotation. And then also we're looking at the timing of when to make that transition forward and between the pull and then into the dip. So let's have a look at the first one, our line of pull and setup position. Success in a muscle up requires you to get around that bar at the top. So from a pull up position where we get quite comfortable, if you, Jacko gives a demonstration, all we see that happens is we're gonna go vertically up and we're not gonna be able to get around the bar. In a muscle up, we need to change the line of pull so we're actually giving ourselves the opportunity to clear the bar and then we can transition over. So that requires us to have a look at this setup position. So Jacko's gonna create this nice line. So imagine that his feet are gonna hit 25 to an o'clock face with his head being at the 12 o'clock point. From there, he's gonna hold him. You'll see that he's gonna create this position and he's gonna hold that shape. So when he comes through, when he pulls, he starts to create that diagonal line and he's gonna move through and almost away from the bar. That position is gonna help him to get his chest high enough that he can then throw the transition over the top. If we only ever try and go vertically, then we're gonna hit the bar. You can't get into a position where you can actually shift the shoulder and hand position, and that means you can't start the transition. Building on top of that um, setup position and line of pull, we're gonna look at the height of your pull and also the speed combined in those two things together, because those two things go hand in hand. If you can pull fast, you're gonna go high. So, um, what are you going to see with a, just with a normal pull-up? If Tim just shows his normal pull-up in terms of how high he gets on his normal pull-up, the chances are that the chin is just getting above the bar. With the setup position, what we're looking at trying to do is create that setting where he, he hits that 25 to an o'clock face. And when he drives up, you're going to see that the bar is then able to drive down much lower. So he's getting to the point where the bar is on the sternum. And that position is important. If you can get the bar to the sternum, that means you are basically at the bottom of your uh, straight bar dip position, and that is the position you've got to get into to enter the transition. The other thing that's really important is how fast he gets out of that position. Power is strength times speed, so it's not just about being strong and doing more pull-ups, it's how fast can you do this whole position. So that set up position, and then he's driving, not just pulling up, he's trying to drive the bar down, elbows down to his side, he's trying to get as high as he can, but as fast as he can at the same time. The next problem you might find is you can't get into that transition position. Now, if you've got the setup right, if you've got the height of the pull, and you've got the speed right, it becomes a lot easier because actually, the higher above the bar you get, the easier the transition is because we require less range of movement. So this is the end of Jacko's muscle up position. If he drops down into a deep dip, this is, remember, the point where we're gonna have to get to after transition. You can see there where the, how high the elbow is, we've created a huge amount of shoulder extension. We need that range of movement in the shoulder, which means we can actually get the head over the bar and then transition the base of support so that we can and push out into the full muscle up. The final part to piece your bar muscle up together, once you've got that setup position, the line of pull, the height, the speed, the good shoulder range of motion, is the timing of when to actually transition. So we must reach the top of our pull when you're gonna feel a little bit weightlessness feeling where you, you are as high as you're possibly gonna go. For that split second, you've got the time to rotate the hand on the bar and shift that body weight forward to the bottom of that deep dip. And that's a little bit of a skill of timing that we need that's technique, but we need to practice to get used to it. So um, Tim's gonna just show us quickly the way it happens in a split second. So he hits that bottom position, he drives up and it's thump, you see that rotation of the wrist during that point where he's reached the top of that pull, sternum is by the bar and he shoots himself forward. That is the skill of timing that we need to practice and it links everything together. So there you have it guys, some common problems that we see all the time with people who are struggling to get that first bar muscle up and redefining their impossible. And we've been through some of these problems ourselves. Um, things like the speed of the pull is something we're not used to training and using resistance bands to help with that is one example of some of the tools that we like to use. If you need any more specific help or want to follow some tutorials of us coaching, it's all covered in our muscle up training guide which actually covers bar and ring muscle up so it's almost like a two for one so check that out on the website. So the job for you is to go away, have a play with your muscle up, try and work out what the restrictions are, get the book if you need a little bit of help, we've got all the drills in there but until next time. 
class dismissed. <laughs>